Finally, a detailed review on Solve Labs Supercharged Peptide Serum Jelly. Okay, first thing first, it's been raining. Like it's winter and it's raining. It's fifth day that there's no sun. So this video might seem dark and kind of dull because there's no sunlight. I want the sun so bad right now. So let's talk about this serum right here. Also, you wanted me to try their niacinamide jelly. Look, when I saw the ingredient list, like most of the humectant, moisturizing ingredient, even preservatives were same and the formulation were same. If you want to grab one product between these two, definitely go for this one. Yeah, go for, go for her. And this is how the packaging looks. It is cardboard sort of packaging. And it also has the same sort of packaging as the moisturizer. God, so luxurious. It's glass bottle, 45 gram in quantity, and the price is $8.99. I know for 45 gram of quantity, $8.99 is kinda expensive. At least expensive for me. And they called it Blue Topia. It's glass sort of packaging, same as their moisturizer. You know, glass packagings are not really travel friendly and it's quite heavy too. But you have to look at this thing. What's going on over here? It's so cute and it is it is slaying. Like it's packaging and even the bubble inside it. Look, it's all so like it's taking my heart. But before analyzing its ingredient list, which I love so much, let's talk about something else. So I got the soap packs and look at this. They are super good in quality. I'm bad at explaining products other than skincare items. But uh, look at this. It is such a great quality. And you can pair this with your Indian outfits, with Western outfits. And the chain quality is amazing. When you open it, you have like this section. And also it has a chain in the back. Super good in quality, so lightweight. And I have tried soap bags before. If you are an office going woman or if you are a normal college student, then you can definitely go for this tote sort of bags or this, this sort of short bags. These are so trending right now. And, and these prints can be easily paired with your Indian wear, your ethnic wear, your mixed up wear, like everything. Talking about the tote bag right here, there's like this brand logo, Soak. And trust me guys, these are quality products. There's this chain. This chain is so good in quality. This bag is really lightweight, so it's not gonna give you the extra heaviness. And here's the inside. There's one separate chain too. My cat loved it more than me. When I took it out of the parcel, he just sat inside the bag and I was like, get out, like, bear away, Barami, take it, come out of here. I need to see how the bag is. And he was like, no, I don't wanna. Look, if you are in hunt of bags, and if you wanna buy a bag for daily uses in good quality and that will feel luxurious, you must try the Zo bag. And you can use my coupon code that's YTBANYA10 for extra 10% discount on their official website. And now let's start with the product review. The start ingredient in this formulation. These are like 5% peptides, 1% copper peptides, 2% niacinamide, 2% Swiss antioxidants, 1% PAT CH2O and crystal hyaluronic acid. 5% peptides and 1% copper peptides smoothen out skin tone, it fights the wrinkles and it fights the signs of aging, tackle any sort of inflammation. 2% niacinamide is an anti-acne ingredient, it gives radiance to the skin. 2% Swiss antioxidants, they reverse the UV damage that you got throughout the years. 1% PAT CH2 and crystal hyaluronic acid, they are moisturizing ingredients. So they provide immense level of moisture to your skin. And all together, they promote the collagen production. The texture is lightweight, it's fun. Sadly, the ingredient isn't mentioned in their inner packaging. It's all written on their outer box. So let's start reading. First, it has aqua, it is a water-based formulation. Then glycerate 26, it is a humectant, a moisturizing ingredient. Then glycerin, yeah, superstar. We are using glycerin in our skincare formulation for more than 50 years. It is a moisturizing ingredient suitable for all skin types. Butylene glycol, that is again a humectant and moisturizing ingredient. Then Carmomar, that is texture enhancer. Polysorbate 20, again a humectant. Palmitoyl tripeptide 1, palmitoyl tripeptide 7. 
these two ingredients are peptides and we know what peptides are we have peptides in our skin too they help to make skin firm youthful they increases the collagen production and they are basically the building block of our skin and, and you see the healthy skin peptide cholesterol uh, and ceramides these are the reason for this healthy bouncy skin and they also protect the skin barrier Next is Lepidium sativum sprout extracts and glycerin, lecithin phenoxyethanol. Lecithin is an emollient and phenoxyethanol is a preservative. Then again aqua glycerin, aqua hydroxypropyl cyclodextrin and palmitol tripeptide 38. Hydroxypropyl cyclodextrin, it is a donut like molecular structure that has a water binding like a water loving site and also an oil loving site. It is also it is used to encapsulate some ingredient like let's say encapsulated retinol so it is used to encapsulate a certain ingredient then it has palmitoyl tripeptide 38 it can boost the formation of major peptides and collagen into our skin like collagen 1 3 4 fibronectin hyaluronic acid limonene 5 and all together fewer wrinkles radiating skin i don't know the percentage here but 2 percent palmitoyl tripeptide 38 can can uh, like uh, get rid of all your wrinkles crow's feet like within two months and it will reduce your wrinkles up to 31 like more than 30 percent it has niacinamide niacinamide or vitamin b3 it is a multifunctional product in here it has used basically as an anti-acne ingredient and as a radiating booster ingredient look niacinamide has a lot of work and i think Till now you know how niacinamide works and everything and basically niacinamide also boosts some formula to like it maximizes a particular ingredient you can say. It has trehalose which is a humic tent and it basically holds water, it is a water binding ingredient. Then it has urea, urea is a natural moisturizing factor like NMF basically helps to hold water onto our skin and it's, it also is a mild exfoliant too. I think in here it has used to hold water and also as a mild exfoliant. I don't know, maybe maybe uh, just here to hold the water properly. It has serine which is a skin identical ingredient like it is also present in our body. And yeah, then it has pentylene glycol. That's a solvent and also it has some micro antimicrobial properties. Glycerin polycrylate, then algin. Algin is, you can say, a texture enhancer. And algin is somehow comedogenic. Algin is a comedogenic ingredient if it is not formulated in a good way. But this thing over here, it is non-comedogenic because it has gel-like texture. And basically it is non-comedogenic. I, I haven't seen any sort of white hairs or irritation after using this because it was soothing anyway. Prylil glycol, moisturizing ingredient, sodium hyaluronate, obviously salt form of hyaluronic acid and sodium hyaluronate has better absorption than hyaluronic acid. Then pululan, it is... <laughs> That's, it sounds funny, right? But it is kind of a silicone, silicone-like thing that uh, make a barrier on all over our face. It helps to make a moisture-absorbing film, something like silicone-like film on all over your face. It blocks the water loss. Then disodium phosphate and potassium phosphate, these are buffering agent. That means they help to set the pH of a product. Then copper tripeptide 1. Look, I have a lot to talk about copper tripeptide 1. In one of the articles, I read that copper tripeptide 1 can be paired with salicylic acid. And that's why in my skincare for teenagers video, I, I, I told you guys that you can pair this with salicylic acid. But in another article, I, I read that it is not good with salicylic acid. Look, copper tripeptide 1, when you apply it on all over our face, it basically uh, rushes the blood flow in that specific area. So, you cannot use irritated sort of skincare or ingredient on that line. Means retinol, glycolic acid, vitamin C. So, when there's blood rush and you're applying this retinol or tretinoin or vitamin C or glycolic acid, these are, uh, they basically irritate our skin. If Yeah, basically they are skin irritant. If you uh, apply this with that ingredient, there's high chance that you are risking your skin barrier or maybe you're... Uh, inviting micro cuts micro damage onto your skin basically copper tripeptide one and you are using it with vitamin a derivatives or vitamin c serum or glycolic acid they cancel out each other's work and be, and further they uh, make your skin irritative on the other hand salicylic acid doesn't work on the upper layer of our skin it basically works 
into the pores to clean our pores so that's why i recommended that you can pair this uh, with salicylic acid in my skincare for teenagers video but now that i think you better not uh, use this with your retinol with tretinoin with vitamin c serum with glycolic acid or with even salicylic acid if you have sensitive skin you better avoid this four or five ingredient with it basically you can pair this with niacinamide serum with alpha arbutin uh, with hyaluronic acid but don't uh, use it with skin irritative sort of serums or ingredient or you might damage your skin or your skin barrier yeah basically that's the thing with copper tripeptide one then phenoxyethanol again a preservative ethoxyl hexyl glycerin preservative acrylates c1030 alkyl acrylate cross polymer this it is sort of polymer it is a viscosity controlling agent it it uh, it improvises the texture of the product then terminalia fertinandiana fruit extract it is antioxidant then sodium hyaluronate again short form of hyaluronic acid disodium edta that's a chelating agent sodium hydroxide and cl14720 and cl42090 final two colors are colorant they gives brilliant blue color to a product they are synthetic colors and derived from petroleum uh, products so that's why this thing has this vibrant blue color you know clear's midnight blue calming cream it has blue color also it comes from guaiseline which is a form of uh, antioxidant uh, but here this color is synthetic but don't worry these colors are non irritant and we often like most of most of the times these colors these synthetic colors are used in shampoos in eye shadows in creams to give the product this cool sort of colors and i don't know in longer run how they perform obviously they are synthetic colors so i think they are they are non harmful that's why brands uh, have used that color in their formulation maybe i don't know but i don't know how these colors work in longer run i have no idea maybe they are not really that great yeah that's the ingredient analysis and now let's talk about the texture and everything so i again don't like the form packaging i most of the time spill the product so that's why this yeah this comes handy so i take around two pumps and uh, just like this so mainly when i want a skincare routine that is my healing sort of skincare routine like when i want my skin to heal properly and it doesn't have any fragrance uh, despite it has such cool refreshing feeling to it like it is so refreshing and it is so soothing on the skin and this gel is non sticky and doesn't dry out the skin if i don't apply moisturizer afterwards but with this gel sort of consistency i know it doesn't have enough emollient and enough like humectant to hold the water onto your skin so right after you you like after you use this serum right after follow it with a great moisturizer to lock the moisture into your skin and uh, yeah basically what i was saying that i basically use this uh, use this uh, super peptide jelly on my soothing skin care days like when i'm not using actives or the days when i i feel like yeah i just i just like i'm lazy and i i want to try this that's when i try it and i haven't seen any sort of improvement cuz i don't have wrinkles yet but if you are in your you know uh, mid uh, like late 30s or late 20s or early 30s and you want to include something like this in your skincare routine then just yeah go for it it is kind of expensive so <laughs> and if you are a person that uses uh, retinol every single time like uh, retinol vitamin c serum like you are so active with skincare routine if you are that sort of person and if you want to get it as a peptide serum then yeah look peptides can be used with anything anything like anything in the world but copper peptide is not for all like copper peptide cannot be paired with with like uh, potently irritative sort of skin cares but if you want to go for it go for it you can use it in the morning time in the night time you can use it on the days when you are feeling like i don't want to apply any active today so yeah that's the great day when you can use it or if you if you have wrinkles problems or anything and you don't want to try uh, so many actives and you want to include a peptide based active or you want to like improve your skin barrier and all for that reason you can use this so if you ask me uh, whether i will repurchase it or not probably i i won't i uh, i don't think i will repurchase it again cuz see i cannot pair it with most of my lovely actives and i love actives 
yeah but i don't use actives every single day i like on seven days i apply actives mainly three or four days but on the rest of the three days i don't apply actives but still for 899 rupees uh yeah uh, someone said me that it was on sale so i got it at 720 rupees not 89 899 rupees so thank you for letting me know on the rest of the days i would rather choose something like soothing serum I have a biocule soothing and calming serum. I would anytime go for that serum instead of this because in this gel like texture I tend to apply a lot and I know I, li I like the after effect and it has like this slight silicone finish to it like after drying down because I haven't applied a moisturizer. Uh, overall I like this stuff but yeah you can try this too. I think I am talking like this because now I am still young and I don't have acne or wrinkle issues. I don't know but uh, for me it was a uh, like it was an okay okay product I like the ingredient list I like everything but it has a downside that I cannot pair it with everything I love a peptide serum that can be paired with anything yeah that's it so that's the review if you like this review then yeah like this video and don't forget to try Zoe bags guys like this bag has my heart right now I cannot wait to like try it with yeah I cannot wait to like try it and show it to my friends and all. It's so classy. It looks so classy and premium and rich. Yeah, like it makes me look like I mean I'm, I'm such an elegant lady and oh my god, you have to see this. Yeah, I'm so happy. I'm so I'm just so happy. So yeah, that's it. If you like this video, then don't forget to like this video and share this video if you want to. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Then take care. Bye.